Never Forget Garden is an invitation by the Society of the Honor Guard, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, to all of America to participate in a very personal way in the centennial of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. What we are relying upon or drawing upon is our experience as tomb guards, both while we were on duty at, this, at the uh, Tomb of the Unknown Soldier and our later experience in the ceremonies that we participated. And we realized that while many people are very familiar and comfortable with the language, if you will, of the ceremony, there are many that are not. And consequently, they, do, they don't participate as fully as perhaps they would or could if they were more comfortable. And we realized uh, in our experience that there is a language of flowers. And that language of flowers is something that is available to much more people. It opens it up more to people who find that the experience that they have either at the tomb or in their own lives through the loss of a family member or participating in a national event. Uh, but the language of flowers is something that allows them to give voice to their inner feelings. And that's really important because that's what we're looking for uh, is to, to reflect or give that opportunity for a personal experience, much like at the tomb. This is something that we experience, and that is however large the visitation, however large the ceremony, each individual that is there, this is a very personal experience. We see that in their faces, we see that in their eyes, and they have told us in many different ways. So the Never Forget Garden is an attempt to allow for people to create a garden, uh, much like the, uh, uh, the World War II, the gardens of, uh, the victory gardens of World War II, and where all of America participated in the war effort. It was a way that they could show their patriotism and their support. Uh, so, and it's also important to recognize something very different about these gardens. This is truly a garden of remembrance, no question about that. But the, na the name itself signifies that this is a very different garden. It is a garden where people can teach where they can remember and teach about family members, community members, or events that the individual participate in. And there are tremendous stories to be told of our veterans. The other aspect of this name that I would like to emphasize is that while there, the, the expression never forget emerges or is part of our, the society's culture. That is, we have a article of faith and it says essentially, well, I'll quote it, soldiers never die until they are forgotten. Tomb guards never forget. And indeed, another aspect of never forget is part of our, our actual formal uh, uh, documents that founded the society. And uh, it, is, it is a tenet of our faith never to forget. But the third one that actually triggered the actual use of the name was the teaching, if you will, by a congressman uh, from Texas. And in an interview, he was asked, or well, he was actually told, he said, well, thank you for your service. And he thanked, uh, he expressed his gratitude for it, but he said something very profound. He said, when you speak to a veteran, it is better to say, never forget, I am in it with you. Now, when I heard that, that brought a lot of things together for me because in my own experience, the term, thank you for your service, has become almost a way of people showing their support without any cost to them. They say, thank you for your service, and then walk away from the veteran who stands there with his experience. And sometimes it's with great sacrifice. But the term never forget means I'm in it with you. 
that is a different thing. And so our Remembrance Garden is truly about never forgetting. And it's a way of saying, I am with you. I am in it with you. So those, those are the kinds of things that um, uh, I'd want to emphasize about the, about, about the uh, Never Forget Garden. I think the, uh, 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 something that would have to be uh, spoken of uh, and, and presented or preserved, actually, uh, is uh, a, a statement that we have adopted as our vision of the, uh, and I'll use my reading glasses if you don't mind, but our vision. And this was, um, this was offered to us by a Dr. James Shaw, who at the time was the uh, president of the Society of the uh, War of 1812 in Maryland. And he said, the words, the language of flowers is an excellent context leading us to understand that the flowers express our deep respect and honor for our veterans that can speak for us when we struggle to express our feeling in words. The uses of flowers as symbols of high regard and remembrance is longstanding historically and culturally. We humans across time and the globe embrace flowers as our physical expression supplemental to verbal expression. A never forget garden can and should evoke emotions in individuals, but should also foster an occasion for shared emotions and especially learning why this garden is here. There are stories to be told of our veterans from the past and our servicemen and women current and future. Because gardens are scalable, a large professional never forget garden and a household never forget garden can be effective stimulators. The never forget garden will create opportunities for teaching and remembrance. I can imagine a child asking mommy and daddy, why is this garden special? Or the, or the parents taking the initiative and saying, I want to tell you why this garden is special. The Never Forget Garden will be, in a way, proxies for the tomb of the unknown soldier. Another aspect of the, um, uh, the Never Forget Garden is the uh, garden marker. And uh, this, is, this is something that has uh, proven to be very uh, well received. Uh, because again, it it helps to establish the nature of the garden and why it's really different. And uh, the language on the marker itself is worth talking with, is worth uh, is speaking about. And it says, this garden is a living tribute to all of America's veterans and their families. And silence and respect. This is a place to remember why millions of our countrymen have fought and died for our liberty and our freedom. Here, we renew our promise to fulfill America's sacred duty to never forget. Here, we renew our mutual pledge, pledge to support them with our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. The best way to describe this marker, again, I would turn to Dr. Shaw. And this is what he said about the impact it had on him. And I, and I, 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 I write this because I, I want to include this because this is truly what we have found to be the experience of many people. With images and text, it moves the viewer to a reflective state. I have studied the image for several hours from top to bottom. It speaks to viewer and for our veterans. The allegorical figures of peace, victory, and valor set the tone and can be contemplated many times. It is classical communication. Even if someone does not know the artist's intent or immediately appreciates the concepts represented by the figures, it calls forth reflection on a generic story of humanity. The words 
Tomb of the Unknown Soldier will trigger thoughts of the hallowed site in Arlington and connect this tranquil garden and the viewer to America's symbol of gratitude and remembrance of our veterans. The ribbon displaying Never Forget Garden identifies this place as special and the subsequent text elaborates the promise to never forget is promulgated by each garden. The text speaks for itself. The second paragraph is a promise and a charge to those who read it to keep this promise. The closing words taken from the Declaration of Independence remind the viewer of so much. The valor of our founding fathers, the fact that as Americans, we are connected to the principles expressed in the Declaration of Independence and have our own obligation to preserve liberty and freedom. So Richard, how can an individual participate in the Never Forget Garden program? Well, I think it's uh, important to emphasize that the size of the garden can vary and it depends on an individual's ability. It can, it can be as grand as acres of ground, which we, we are having uh, organizations and societies and, and other communities develop very large gardens, uh, but it can be as small as a flower pot. So it's, it's really up to the individual as to the what, which is connected to the how do I get involved in this? Well, it it's, depends on what you can, um, can afford or accommodate. Uh, but we have a document uh, on our website that will help individuals identify the various flowers that we have identified and associated with historical importance. These are not a must, but just to help the individual think about what flowers they might like to, to uh, uh, include in their garden. Uh, for example, for the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, the Honor Guard, the white rose is very important to us. And that's because it was the white rose that was relied upon as, as the uh, floral uh, uh, display that was given to the uh, Edward F., uh, Sergeant Edward F. Younger uh, to indicate his selection of the own, uh, World War I unknown. So the white rose is very important to us and that would be something that would uh, be important in, in, for example, my garden or another Tim Garden's garden, but that, that's also for others. Another, another flower that we have identified uh, and having, having particular importance for us because something we witnessed very intimately and that was the love of mothers, those mothers who came to us and told us about the sons they never came back. So the pink carnation is a very significant flower. Of course, we have the poppy, the red poppy, immortalized in poetry and practice and adopted as the official flower of uh, both the Amer American Legion and the uh, uh, VFW, the Veterans of Foreign Wars. And there are another, uh, uh, the list continues on of different flowers. But then again, we want to emphasize this is a very personal experience. So if you have flowers that are associated with your family, your community, your region, then certainly put those in. And we recognize that from region to region, there are different flowers that uh, or plants uh, that uh, are better suited for your zone. So those, those kinds of things enter into it. Uh, you can participate for, further uh, by um, working through your organizations, presenting to your organizations that uh, perhaps at your church or in your community park, uh, that it would be nice to have a never forget garden. And it doesn't have to be a new garden. It can be a rededication, if you will, of an existing garden. Now, much of our, uh, our, our support that we can offer uh, is found on our website, which is tombguard.org uh, slash centennial. And there you'll find a number of documents that tell you in greater detail uh, about the society and the Never Forget Garden, uh, the garden marker, and as, as important, our supporters, and one of which is the American Rose Society which have offered uh, uh, incredibly extensive 
help. And these are the experts. And they will help you design gardens. And they will help you find sources where you can find plants, flowers, etc., that are suitable for your area. These are all available through our website. Likewise, uh, the Never Forget Garden marker uh, is available through our society store. Again, following the prompts within our website, and it'll take you right into our um, uh, our store, and they and, and, and purchase that. Uh, and if all else all else fails, my name is Richard Azaro. My uh, email address is r a z z a r o at verizon dot net, and I will respond to you, your needs, and I will I will help you any way we can. So the society is there for anyone that wishes to participate in the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Centennial. Never forget Garden.